It was time for Tolly the Blushing to defend the Empire again, and maybe he would he would do this this time personally. It was something personal about this strange attack, and it was something that would maybe prepare him for his new role as a zealous warrior, a warrior of faith, and a warrior that needed practice. And so he would go on and uh, see to it that he would... Hello there. We're allowed to lead, lead armies again. But he would, of course, wait um, as a strategist until the armies are there and for, for the decisive. He would only be out, out there for the real decisive fights. And there's news from China. The Pale Rider is done reaping his terrible harvest in China and the devastating plague appears to have receded. Things are returning to normal and the Middle Kingdom seems stable. Interesting. Interesting. There was... Oh, King Grimmer accepted the peace offer of Mr. Sjelland. Did he gain something? Anything? I'm not really sure. What about Finn here? Hmm. In the hands of Australia. Well then. What's fighting along here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness, what's that? The Pomeranian Liberation Revolt. Yeah, that's probably going to be the next land. And they are going to move where? To Luki. What's that going to be? Where do they want to go? Mm. And we're a flanker, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take that flank. We'll have someone who's good at a heavy infantry in the middle. We'll have this, this new man here that we like on the side. We'll see what happens there, right? And then we have these three. Mm. We have Renwald, we have Faste. And why not have Sigurd in that as well? Yeah, we're waiting here in Ladoga for them to come. Where will they go to? They are definitely dying here. They are moving to Holmgard. And they are locked in to do that. 4th of November. When will we be there? on the 8th of November, and these guys will be there on the 10th. It's the decisive battle. It's possible to rank up in our society too. And we request that. Here we go. And become a warrior. The battle is there. The king is there personally. Striking. Oh, and and losing heavily on this flank. No, that's not his flank. That's his flank. Still he's losing heavily, but now it's over. Our ongoing struggle outside of Holmgard has brought out the best of our military strategists. One of them is a Norse veteran with a penchant for innovation. He's suggesting that he retires from the battlefront and returns to Kuloi to continue his work, safe from flying arrows. This man. 
a dualist, proud, envious, patient and honest, a misguided warrior and tribalist. Refill. Ah, uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, we're totally into military technology. This sounds like a solid um, investment. We don't need him as a commander, even if he's a solid one. We need him to research. War knowledge for 10 years. Yeah, definitely. And we have advanced to be a warrior. And now, and now it's going on. Now it's going on. Pursuit. Pursuit. And pursuit again. Kuloi, though prosperous, as the prosperity of Kuloi increases land, which was previously considered marginal, is increasing in value. With the proper incentives, it should be possible to clear enough land to fund a new holding upon. We have great stewardship. We know this is a very good uh, opportunity. I know a good deal when I see one. And we'll have to toughen this out. Perfect. We have Mayor Mihis. Was, he was captured in battle and is now our prisoner. It's perfect. We will try to sell all these people. Now, as we're good at stewardship. Let's see. Prisoners. We have Ingibjörg, the bewitched. Mm. We'll not sell her off. We have Drozuk Nalec. Whatever that man means to anyone. Will not pay. We have Mihis of Kurasare. Um, he's worth something. And we have Trifon. Here we go. Mm. And the question is now where to go? Where is Mazovia? What can we do? Where is freaking Mazovia? Mazovia is here. Look at that. It's these two counties. Wiklun. And this one. Stesea or something like that. Hmm. I guess we'll travel. But we're losing a lot more. And the question is, should we, shouldn't we do anything? We should unite this first. Then we'll disband the army for now. Leaving this with our retinues. And we don't really need to lead it ourselves. That's not needed. Uh, we have other people who can do this. Um, we want Hrodulf here. Where the heavy infantry is. Then we can have this man, the hunter on the side, Total, and we have the mayor of Toshala in the middle, and we'll march forward and see what we can find out, right? Oh my goodness, Duchess Christina the spider is dead. Oh my goodness. And now we have Dalfrirek of Prishkov. Goldilocks reloaded. He's a good organizer. Ah, we would really like to have him. And the Rock of Raven is paused, of course. And um, well, then we're gonna we're gonna pick up something from here, probably. Just a little bit. Cause it's our vassals that pay that, right? Where are they going? 
How many do we have here? 1200? Yeah, that's, that's fair. Maybe we should stay around here for now. Yeah, we should stay around and defend for now. It's fine. That long term, we can build a temple there long term, and that's just great. So, here we go. We'll have to watch this army very closely. Aha! Liebes has been converted to the Germanic faith. That's great. And now that we're a zealot, we want you to do something else. We want you to hunt apostates. Excellent. News from China. Intending to enforce their subjugation as a tributary state of the Wei Empire, the general uh, protector general. Sabait Saba of the Western Protectorate had declared war upon Chimza Chukpo. Kitan armies are already marching towards the realm of Gyalpo Chimza Chukpo, and it seems possible that this spells the end of Gugi's independence. May the gods protect them. Gugi's? We are not really sure what this means. The Gugi's. Well, look at that. They're going back to Lanamar. And there's a smuggler's ring, of course, there's a smuggler's ring. Mm. We could get some more here. Let's send them in. Where's Renwald there? I don't know. Well then, the time is now, it seems. Encountered veteran Ingvar many times while carrying out my duties for the wolf warriors. Wow. What a veteran. A hunchback veteran. A kinslayer. What a dangerous man. But we're impressed by his skills. And it's always a pleasant occasion. We can talk for hours if the time allows because he never bores me. While our discussions are often lengthy, we always seem to agree on the matters which are most important. The steward of fin he's the steward of Finland of all things. He's the steward. He has freaking two stewardship and thirty-six marshal. How is he not the marshal? He's the steward of Finland. How could we I think this is friendship. The steward of Finland. And we're friends with the steward of Finland. Ha ha ha. Ah. Should join our court, but he won't do that. Hmm. Maybe we can grant him something someday. Yeah, let's let's send these troops over. Do we have something here on Java? No. Now these 8,000 people here, and that's not, not as decisive as before. Who could be in the middle there? We have Rodolf on the side. Mm, we want Rodolf here now, because of the heavy infantry. And then we have Rönnwald, who would really lead the middle, and then we have on the side. We could join the side. There's plenty of cavalry. Yeah, we're, we're the best flanker we have. Here we go. Charge. Charge in. Shall be a beautiful battle. Forgetting about our budget deficit. Oh, Ophig of Orland. Uh -huh. He wants to acquire some land. The Jarlum of Swiviot. No. Yeah, we want to lead this ourselves. We need all of our men. Marshall tells me that Ormer has improved significantly. He's a Lightfoot leader now. Yeah, Mr. Expendable is now making himself very useful. Look at that. 15. 
Let's see what we can do there. The flank is already breaking down. We're hunting them. Yeah. And they are out. Yeah, we can at least go there and and uh, get it down there. We can no negotiate with this man, Otemis. No. Is he back here? No, he's not. Yeah, we have a very serious deficit, but it was a one-time chance. And we know that, as we have good stewardship. Here we go. Oh, what happened? Large band of robbers in, in Duina. Smuggler's ring. People died. Coffers are empty, but the coffers of my vassals are full. They have an obligation to their liege. We, have, we can ask Bertil. We can ask Gidja Inga. Um, or we can ask Chief Osmond of Rouen. They have an obligation to their liege, King Bertil. Um, he really likes us. Changes by minus five. We'll get back with a reply to your tough... He doesn't even have 250 gold. How about this woman? Gidia Inga of Farnabo. Hmm. She kind of likes us. And this... Let's torture the child, right? That the child is the richest. Ask for ten gold. Here we go. Has refused. Maybe we should have him. No, my goodness. It's downright laughable somehow. We will get this siege done very soon, and then it will look much better for us, even. We have also a ton of income per month, and yeah, it can only be a short time. Kuloi prospers. The Kuloi, so country of Kuloi has served as an unofficial training ground for our armies, as there's plenty of open space on which to train and abundant food to feed your troops. A group of senior officers are now petitioning you for money in order to erect an official regimental camp in the county. A regimental camp? Fort or what? Regimental ground. Uh, yeah, why not? That sounds like an excellent suggestion. We're so out of money. And... <laughs> oh, Empress Bertha, our wife. We have nothing going on with her right now absolutely nothing yeah we're occupied with everything else at least we have our son here who is growing up fine yeah 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 as always me imagined i would be the first of us to go oh no ingwer we just met him but i'm now i'm the one mourning the departure my dear friend, never again will I hear Ingvar's jolly laugh or receive his wise counsel. It is as if I have lost an essential part of myself. He just died of depression. I feel so powerless. Um, Ingvar wouldn't want me to cry. Let's drink in his honor. That's something we would do. Probably already had one drink too many when I'm joined at the table by an equally inextoxicated man. Takes me a few minutes to realize, but surely it must be Chief Torstein, another old friend of Ingvar's. Spent quite some time reminiscing about our old comrade. Yeah, we will we'll be brothers, right? This infirm man. Oh no, Jarl Hrodulf uh, has died as well. And we know 
Well, we need another commander. We have Frederick, the Jarl of Pskov. Yeah, the new Jarl, Jarl of Pskov. And he's reasonably good at that. He's an organizer. Very welcome. Very, very welcome. So after this truly moving scene, let's have a look here. Hmm. So they are marauding around here, trying to reach Finland, probably. Let's have a look at Jalhaldor of Wiccan. Hmm. Not the best replacement, but he'll make do in Wiccan. Well, well, well. We need to win this war. And Thorolf, the Mona, has been killed. He probably wasn't the best. Cannot afford to pay my magistrates. The peasants are completely disregarding my divine right to rule. Now it's getting into a real big financial crisis. But hopefully you will get some people to sell off here. Let's see. Large band of robbers. Mm -hmm. Completely underfunded. Yeah, we need to try to get money from wherever we can. Can we get, get something from the Joms Vikings? We could sell Ingebjörg for 70 gold. No, she's too dangerous. She wanted, I think she wanted to kill us or something. So there's that. Aha, Adelbert wants to marry Holmfrid. She's our court tutor. Well, we cannot have any trouble now. We will accept. And now we need a new court tutor. Let's see. Who could that be? Hmm. Our concubine seems fine enough for that. And, um, yeah, she's the only one with decent learning and uh, the according character. Susanna Ferch Madog. The beautiful, as we call her. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> We can only hope we will soon resolve this matter, right? Because we're really, at least we're, we're now only, oh my goodness. <laughs> my wife Bertha is pregnant. Wow, we did it. It's incredible. So she doesn't hate us too much. That siege was one, Huma. My birth, birth are pregnant. I'm starting to worry if I shouldn't organize something special for this year's harvest right. <laughs> Ugh. Mm -hmm. We'll dedicate the entire festival to her. Ah. <laughs> My wife has really taken on her role as Freya during the festival. She acts as imperious as any goddess would. Her behavior might be a bit out of place, but at least she's having fun. And she's administrating the rites properly imperious well that's good that's not drunk a thieves guild ah yeah it's getting crazier and crazier i guess and look we're also losing our armies here left and right well 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 try whom we can get uh, fabricating a claim and here we go with a righteous imprisonment of King Raffan of Finland what does this man want to do he really likes us uh, fabricate a claim on the Dardom of Pikov on the county of Kalawizi um, we're not really interested in that but okay 
At first the signs were small, easily dismissed as coincidences, but now they are becoming too frequent to be ignored. The omens surrounding my wife's pregnancy are uh, terrible. Uh, I'm sure I am uh, misinterpreting the signs. High learning. Yeah, hopefully that. Pregnancy. Bad omen. <laughs> Goodness. On the siege of Kurisare. And we'll go back, trying to catch them. Charge! It's slowly getting better. Slowly, slowly, slowly is the key word here. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral unbalancing that is affecting her mood. I'll buy her something nice. Ah. Yeah, we're too kind. We're just too kind. Thieves guilds. Hooray. Well, we're coming. Another Jarl Burger has inherited the county of Mezen. Pneumonic. Oh, well. I guess... A life-threatening condition. Yeah, yeah. He's got a mild illness, though, and he's brawny, so he might survive this. We hope for him he will, but... Our steward has died. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, probably died of severe stress from our situation here. We have Oystein, the leader of the Sjellander revolt here, who is severely injured. Hmm, he's also a thrifty clerk. This man is even meters touched. Lustful, gluttonous. Hmm. This man is deceitful. This man is content. But envious. Hmm. There's, there's a lot of people who can't do this job properly, so let's really have a look. Thorfinn, related to us, he's honest, fat, he'll probably die soon. Uh, who do we like better, this man or this man? Or yeah, We like Thorfinn a lot, but we know that he might die soon. I have the Jarl of Petrora. Hmm. Let Oystein do it. You never know. Oystein the Just. He can now administer the realm. Um, yeah. Let's hope for this. He's better as the former one than the former one. Mm, another budget deficit. But still, our income is increasing for some reason. It also needs to do that. The Battle of Nilland. We're marching over the plains. When one of my officers mutters, Once I'm back in Kuloi, I'm giving up this soldiering life. And maybe we'll, I will be a baker. I chuckle. Considering my own more strategic aspirations. What about you, my lord? What will you focus on in the future? Um, more direct? No, we cannot be a flanker and a direct leader. That's crazy. Um, holy warrior. That's, I mean, that's not really that useful, but it's uh, in that situation we're in, but um, it's, it's from the role play, it's definitely the thing, right? We're zealous. Or, I mean, we could also be unyielding. That would make sense to... No, I think I want to carry out the will of Odin. We're a holy warrior now. A daughter was born, named Holmfrid. Nice. Um, name after mother, Bertha. Name after grandmother, Othelindis. Name after random ancestors, Sif. 
Renfrid, Aslaug, Ilyana, Gudrun, Linda. Uh, no, we could also name her Bertha in in her mother's in her mother's honor. And we'll give her childhood focus to heritage. Why would we do that? And what is her fate? Five. Etiquette. And she could be, get a guardian. What would be that guardian? Oh, Susanna is abonid. Oh, that's of course a bad choice for for a court tutor somehow. Hmm. Mm hmm. Radegund. How about our wife looks for her herself? Or about the court chester looks for her. Um. Like Bertha. Yeah, she could look out for her daughter. That would be only fine. And um, we should look into the court tutor position again. Because really, Susanna is not Norse. Uh, we have. We only have terrible choices. We could have Thorf in there, but his lust. We don't want a lustful, gluttonous wrath to be teaching our children, right? Let's look for the custodian of the stone here. Who could that be? Helgi the Jarl of Helsingland? What does he even do? Hmm. Yeah, Helgi is also our chancellor too, though. Our Marshal Olaf of Gilland. Why not? He's even chaste and ugly. He's the true, uh, true one. Frerik the Jarl of Pskov. He's already depressed, like his father was. Hmm. Magni the Jarl of Severod, our brother. Oh yeah, our brother is our herdman. That's something really nice. Law speaker. Hmm. Godron is already our serious. How about oof, a lunatic one? We need we need just law speaker. That would be really good. And that means we're gonna have I don't know. Arm fast. Learned and just. That absolutely makes sense. How is the battle going? The battle is going excellently. Look at how we've won that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Only need to defend a bit and everything will be fine. Position ourselves here in Ingri again and wait a little bit. Surely you'll be fine. Ah, I'm winning over the woman's friend. She's got a malaise. Just doesn't feel well. Prana needs a focus. You can focus on learning. Hmm. The status quo in China is over. Harmony and progress are blossoming throughout China under the benevolent rule of Xiaoxinu Xianzu. New types of precious silks and other wondrous new wares have started to flow along the increasingly safe routes of the Silk Road, whose wealth has doubled. Interesting. During the last few days, my wife Empress Bertha has been acting strangely indeed. She's got rabies. I've just been informed that her aggressive behavior and episodes of extreme anxiety have been caused by rabies. God. A mild illness of rabies. My goodness, health se minus seven. Call for my court physician at once. That can only be a miracle. He's got a successful treatment for rabies. Is that true? 
breastfeeding the child with rabies. <sighs> Lack of funds. Yeah, yeah, I know. Underfunded sheriffs. Losing the tariffs. But we gained something. We gained that new holding and we gained regimental grounds. That's something you don't get every day. And that's really, really good. So, the years of careful planning. Castore, Smeldling from the court of Chief Armand of Kinda, has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, declaring his intention to press his claim by force. Well, good luck with that. Castore of Castore's host. The budget deficit is shrinking. We're battling the budget deficit as well as we're budgeting. Uh, we're budgeting our enemies. Yeah, we're budgeting our enemies now because it's the much the sharper weapon. Look at that! The army of Michkwoi slowly getting defeated here by Saxony du has dwindled. Empress Bertha has passed away. <gasps> I can only hope she remembered me fondly in her last moments. Yeah, she would have, but she's got rabies. I mean, it's a little bit crazy. Helgi has created the title Charldom of Holmgard. And we are unmarried now. Hmm. There's the question, right? Our concubine. Hmm, our concubines. We're not in love with them anymore. Or are we? Hmm. So we should look for another wife. Maybe we have now learned what queer means. So we'll try to avoid that. With 21 we can, we can probably expect that. So we're looking for a new wife. That's going to be really interesting. And uh, actually, I think we're going to do that in the next episode. So this is a little bit of a short episode, but I, have, I want to have a good look. And maybe not marry Gawley. <laughs> She's a title claimant, so that would go away. And we really like her, so... She's also dull and ambitious like we are. <laughs> With a martial skill. Is that going to be a good idea? It's a terrible idea. She's our aunt, but you never know. It could be not too bad. We'll see. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming.